Hello everyone, my name is Jax and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make a VRP2 script. If you don't already have it, you need a 5M server and you also need VRP2 installed. It is a framework. I will leave all the links required to get started in the description below. Once you have VRP framework installed on your 5M server, we're going to go to another link in the description. It'll go to my GitHub and it brings you to this VRP template that I created. I kind of like showed you how to, how to use it. So there's some documentation. There's a discord. This is just VRP documentation and discord. Uh, this is, you know, dependencies, things like that. We're just going to go ahead and, and download this through GitHub desktop. You can, if you don't have it, you can just download through zip. It's the same way and just drag and drop in your resources folder. We also need to have Visual Studio Code. So if you don't already have it, you should download that as well. I'm going to open this up in Visual Studio Code. And we're going to open up the client and server Lua files. The idea of the script that we're going to create is an ID command that will notify the player what their first and last name is. So in order to do that, we're gonna start on the server Lua side first. And what we're gonna do is we're going to go out of this function and create what's called a tunnel. So we're gonna do function, the name of our extension, which is in my case is Jax. And so we're gonna do function get ID we're going to do local user equals VRP users underscore by underscore source. And then in square brackets, we're going to put source. We're going to do another variable and local identity. It's going to be VRP.ext.identity get identity user.cid, which is the character ID. We're going to do an if statement. If identity is true, then we're going to make a function called fname, which is identity first name, and then a identity last name, return curly brackets fname l name, and then we're just going to do end and end. And then to kind of like export the tunnel to be able to be used, we're going to do Jax underscore tunnel or whatever your last name is dot tunnel and then get ID and then Jax get ID. So the way that we are going to call this is on the client Lua side, we're going to go into the construct one. And the reason why we're going to be in here and uh, on the client side, but not in there on the server side, is because in the client side, um, I'm sorry, because the construct function is actually like always started on uh, like on resource start. So we don't want to put this function in here because then the user is going to get you know their f name and l name like given to them, and we don't really. We don't really want that. So we want to put it outside of it so that way we can call it manually, which is what we're going to do on client side. So on client side, we're going to do register command called ID function. We need a source args raw command. And then going to do end false. There we go. We're going to do local user, or I'm sorry, ID. And then to call it, we're gonna do self.remote.getID. And then we're gonna do if ID then. And we're gonna actually use the VRP notifications, which is VRP EXT base notify. And then your first name is in Lua, you do uh, whenever you're trying to put a like a function or something into the um, like quotes, you do two periods and then that. And we're gonna do ID brackets one, 
and then and your last name is id brackets two. If for some reason the ID is false, like it comes back uh, nothing or something like that, we can do VRP uh, base notify. If you do not have an identity, please relog. Now in our case, it won't say this. It shouldn't. But this is only happens if something goes wrong. So now we can really just uh, make sure our thing is in here, which it is, ensure VRP template. And then now we can go ahead and restart our server. We can also go ahead and uh, go in 5M as well. I don't have it open. All right, so now I am just going to go ahead and join the server and we're just going to test out the command and see if it works. All uh, right, we are now loading into the server. We do have to wait for our character to kind of load here, which shouldn't take too long. Looks like they're loading. There we go. OK, so now if we do slash ID, there we go. First name is Nicole and last name is Lee. We actually got that a little bit backwards. It's Lee Nicole. So really all, all we need to do to fix that is um, just swap these. So this one would be one. This one would be two. And whenever you make a change to your script, unfortunately, uh, VRP does not have like a restart system for their um, scripts. So you do have to restart your server in order to kind of like restart your script. But if I if I restarted the script, it should um, it should put this Lee and then Nicole instead of Nicole Lee, or we can just put last name first name. But that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I, I know it's a very basic short video, but um, feel free to play around with this as much as you want. Join. The, I'll leave like all the VRP like Discord and documentation and everything in the link in the description. That way. If anyone needs help, they actually have like VRP developer support. I'm not a VRP developer, so I don't know 100% of this, but I can help the best I can because I'll be in that Discord. Um, but expect more, a little bit more videos on this, maybe like two or three more. Um, but other than that, thank you all for watching and uh, have a good rest of your day.